we work hard and buy into to what Coach is saying, uh, we can get really far and, and win a lot of games. What did the NBA guy, you know, what did the NBA guys tell you you needed to work on this year? Uh, just my decision making, um, just being a, a shot maker, a consistent, a consistent shot maker, and uh, just play more a point guard on the ball. How much is that kind of a big motivation for you moving forward this season? Um, the NBA stuff. I wouldn't really say it's a motivation. I, I feel like I can reach that point, get to the NBA, and at, at whatever I'm ready. So. I'm gonna really, really say it's a motivation. I'm just really focused on you know, winning this year. I'm not really focused on the NBA right now. Do you have a point, like looking back at last season, where you're, where it kind of just hit you like, wow, this is gonna be more difficult than I thought. Just, uh, not for you individually, but just with the team and then and how you grew from that. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say for me individually. I, I felt like it was, you know, individual, it was good, but you know, as a team, just. Coming, coming in close games, like a lot of close games, we lost a lot of close games. So, and just trying, trying to get it done at the end of the game, I feel like that was that was the biggest challenge. You yeah. know, just uh, fighting through fatigue and everything like that. I think that was just the biggest challenge for our team last year. What does Mariel bring to the team? Obviously, with the team last year, but that's hey, what did he bring? Kind of just as a veteran last year, you've been playing. What can he bring as a player this year? Oh, uh, well, last year he just brought leadership. Um, you know, he knew what it takes to win, and he kind of pushed everybody in practice uh, just to go hard at every moment. And, you know, this year he's going to bring, you know, a lot. You know, he came from a, a defensive background, a team in, in Virginia, so uh, he loves to play defense. Uh, he's a shot maker. Um, he also is good at decision making, too, so, uh, you know, playing with him, I think it's going to be great. And he's Canadian also, so we got, we got a good connection. I was going to say, what's that, what's that bond like? What kind of things are you talk about? Not come different regions, obviously, but. Yeah. Um, I mean, we, we really haven't talked about it a lot. We, we really got like a, a good relationship off the court and on the court. So uh, we don't really talk about a lot of camera stuff, just, you know, just taking it day at a time. Do you feel like you're a better player than you were last year? Yeah, I actually feel like I'm a way better player. Um, just, just learning the stuff I needed to learn last year, and you know, now that now that I'm putting it, implementing it into my game, and just feel like I'm a better player, and it just also feels good, like going to practice every day. I don't feel like I'm having bad days or anything like that. I just feel like everything's consistent right now. What were the biggest things you had to adjust to, kind of learn as a freshman last year? Uh, when I first came in, I feel like the the speed, just just playing playing at, at your own pace, uh, not getting sped up, and uh, really just my I had to work on my decision making because you know in the game you know, a lot's gonna come at you. I'm only a freshman coming in. I got I got the experience a lot, so I th I just really think those two things. How being that you feel like you're an even better player than you were last year, given the success you had last year, I guess what's What's the bar for you this year? What are your goals? What do you hope to accomplish individually? Uh, I mean, I feel like sky's the limit for me. Uh, I just really want to win. Uh, when you win, you succeed and your team succeeds. And you know, everybody gets, gets mentioned, everybody gets the fame. So I really just want all of us to succeed. Do you have 